Hey, welcome back to Chat with Chet. I'm here today with one of our partners, Robert from Accelerate. Talk to the people a little bit about what, what's going on over there. Sure, happy to be here. Um, so what I have basically created and what we're use, using now at Accelerate is called Accelerated Discovery. Okay. It's a play on a little bit of our name, but it's all about process discovery. Okay. And we always find that the problem, one of the biggest problems uh, right now in the industry is really finding good automation candidates. Uh, the key word I heard there were good automation candidates. Yes, Lots yes. of candidates. So how does this go, go about helping us find the good ones? So what you're really wanting to do is we broke it up into four phases. Okay. And each of these phases has designated timelines with designated deliverables. Okay. So it makes it much more standardized. Okay. And it works out very perfectly that the first phase is called standardized. So the point of that is really just to understand what we mean by a department, by a functional area, by a process, and by a task. So we're defining all the terms. We're defining setting the stage the for the, the yeah, forward. That, okay? You'd be surprised how hard that is to, to do. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, and then as well, we want to identify the parties involved. So okay. too often when we're doing process discovery, we only talk with the stakeholders. Right. Now they can give you a great macro level view, but a very, very rarely are they able to tell you all the processes that they have in their department. Right. On the same point, if I go to a subject matter expert, they can give me the process that they're working on, but they're not able to tell me how does this fit to the big picture. Right. So we need both. So okay. what we do is we utilize both and we really meet in the middle. Gives you a 360 view. 360 okay. view. And then once we have those identified, then we want to categorize them into okay. three areas. All processes are just made up of tasks and tasks can be broken up into three things. Okay. They're either mechanical, they're intelligent, or they're waste. Now waste right off the bat means it doesn't provide any business value. So we automatically want to get rid of waste wherever possible. Intelligent is usually a very important decision-making activity that does have a lot of business value. And mechanical is something that just has to be done in order for this process to function. Right, right. Now mechanical is usually the prime targets for RPA. Intelligent is usually a prime candidate for any type of AI or ML technology, as well as some have use cases for OCR and RPA, okay. but it's not as common. So we want to categorize those and we want to then apply our, obviously proprietary, uh, feasibility assessment based upon that and dependent upon the motivators. Now some clients they don't want just FTE reduction. They want, I want capacity. You know, I want you to increase Accuracy, my productivity. Cost they, avoidance, risk avoidance, exactly, all those all, all those good things. So depending on what their motivators are, now that we have the 360 view of how it operates and we have all the metrics involved for each, we now want to organize them and create our automation pipeline, which is what the third and fourth phase are. Organize how long does this take to do? How long does it take to go through these phases? So that's a, a, one of the more, more important things about why it's been uh, very popular is that it has fixed time frame. So we've done a couple of engagements thus far. We just rolled this out over the summer, uh, but it's anywhere from a six to eight week time frame. Sometimes it could be as, as quick as four. It is dependent upon the department size. Sure, right? sure. Uh, and very often you'll find if you have a department with 800 people, it's not really a department. <laughs> Right. So That's we, a division. Yeah, so we, yeah. We, uh, we try to give it a fixed time frame of anywhere from four to eight weeks. So Fantastic. you have your automation pipeline done quickly and you know exactly what your roadmap is. And then this feeds in perfectly with our next service offering, which is the RPA 90X, which we have, uh, I think we've talked about a little bit at length before, at least some of my other employees, sure, that, sure. Uh, uh, people at Accelerate have. So folks, we've got people here. We're going to help you categorize. We're going to help you define. We're going to create the roles. We're going to, to go end to end in a matter of weeks. Uh, leave the customer with a complete pipeline and maybe implement it for them if they need some help getting it done. That's the plan. Robert, thanks for coming and thanks for watching Chat with Chat and we'll see you next time. Thank you.